Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for you and the other person. This is going to be for the week of July 6th through the 12th. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Virgo and the other person? First card out is going to be the connection or the resolution, okay? Now think about this person, one person, who, one person, who's this other person? Picture this person in your head. Who is this other person? What's going on with them? What are they thinking? What's going to happen? Picture this other person in your head right now. See them in your, in your mind's eye. Who is this other person? Can you picture them? Nine of Cups. You and them on this side. So Nine of Cups is the connection. So the Nine of Cups, now you could be dealing, this is for Virgo, Nine of Cups is uh, satisfaction. Okay, it is happiness. It's also a card of ego, of having it all. Hmm, somebody's ego may, this is ego, having it all. Hmm, happiness, satisfaction. Oh my goodness, you saw me shuffle. You may be dealing with a Taurus. Oh my God. Yeah, you guys just saw me shuffle, okay? I just got these same cards right here for Taurus, which is you guys may be dealing with a Taurus. Um, now the other person. Ooh. Ah, so let's and you definitely may be dealing with a Taurus. I'm not sure, but this is this is like a uh, broken marriage, uh, end of a commitment or a, a relationship that's not on the same page. We may have somebody here that is very uh, under a lot of social pressure. Uh, either you or the other person, they're being controlled by a father figure that is questioning his authority or somebody is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society and this is a card of ego. So Virgo, either you or somebody that you're dealing with is having a hard time doing something because of society for fear of disgrace. It's for fear of disgrace. So ego, ego, <coughs> I have it all, right? So right now the connection is about having it all. You have a lot to offer, but this is a loss here. Not wanting to uh, take a time out. This is uh, not wanting to grow old alone. So you may be staying in a situation that is socially acceptable because you don't want to grow old alone. Okay, this is, this is um, a midlife crisis type of thing. Okay, it's time to reconnect. It's time to put yourself out there, but you're feeling like you have to stay. You have to hold on for the stability. Somebody is holding on to a lose lose situation just for the stability of it. And it looks like it's you. Okay, this is your side. Now, the Six of Wands reversed is a loss. Now, this is disgraced, and this is disgraced. There's disgrace here, there's fear of disgrace. Okay, that's that's uh, very prideful, very smug, and this one is too. So we have a very smug, prideful individual that is letting ego get in the way of happiness. Okay, now we're talking about you and the other person, but you know how I like to put the cards together. And but anyhow, so pride and ego is getting in the way of happiness. Anyhow, um, there's going to be some unwelcome news, and you may have you may have some unwelcome news for somebody okay it's like you haven't been honoring your truth or you haven't been listening to your intuition you haven't been um listening to yourself and there's been no victory holding on to whatever this is okay so this feels like you're in a situation right now where you're starting to think about giving to somebody else or something like that that queen of pentacles is very loyal it's all about loyalty right it's about being loyal being loyal to your commitment even if you don't want to be in it so it feels like we that's what we got here i feel like you are 
in some sort of commitment with somebody that you're not on the same page with. You're not. There's no passion. Okay. There's and it's interesting, very similar to Virgos. I mean to Tauruses. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or another Virgo or what the heck is going on. But this is uh following the pack. So this we have you following the pack. Anyhow, over here, the person that you are thinking about, that you pictured, isn't happy. There's no growth. There's, there's, they're wanting passion, right? They're, they want passion. They're passionate about you. Uh, but they probably know that it's over. Okay, unhappiness, sadness, no growth, the end. The Ten of Swords. The person that you're dealing with is in some sort of pain. They're suffering. Um, they're having a, a, a mental or physical breakdown. This is a mental breakdown. They know that this is ending. Whoever you're dealing with knows that something is ending. Um, now this is, uh, it's over. It's over. This is goodbye. There's no, there's no happiness here. There's no growth here. But there's some sort of, whoever you're dealing with is, this is a, an, an just just do it just do it the ace of wands is just do it just go for it it's an exciting new opportunity this is passion it's it's a it's a new desire this person has a new desire this has reached rock bottom this is this is as low as you can go they're not happy now this could this is like this this is a exciting new opportunity but there's there's no happiness here something about children as well whoever you are asking about is probably not happy about the children or something like that now this is over it's done now that ace of wands what is that ace of wands that is that is a new growth getting excited this person may be getting excited whoever you are dealing with may be getting excited for something oh for a new love whoever now this is in love whoever you are with is probably in love with you or whoever you're asking about. They want to start over with you. Whoever you're asking about wants to wants to start over with you. They may be in love with you. Now this is a new start in love. Coming in fast. Maybe for your person, because this is the other person. And if it's not you, you, I said you and the other person. The other person has somebody coming in. Very, very fast. Or maybe that's how you, what approach you need to take. Now this is, have no fear. This is like a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. This is very direct communication coming in, being assertive. Somebody may be throwing their heart into a situation, uh, taking taking action. Somebody's going to be taking action towards the other person. They're moving in very, very fast. This is a risk taker. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. That is pursuing the person this person whoever this person is is go is going to be pursued by somebody else this is being pursued flying by the seat of their pants somebody is going to be flying by the seat of by the seat of their pants right into this person's life this is this is a new partner it is coming to the rescue to pick this person up from rock bottom. So whoever you asked about Virgo, um, but this is also taking action to get out of an unhappy situation that has ended. This is an exciting opportunity for love. So the person that you are asking about may be finding their strength or their whatever it is, their get up and go. They may take some new approach. They may decide to turn their back on this sad situation and go in a new direction okay so that is interesting this is this is going against the flow 
This is very quick thinking all of a sudden, suddenly, all of a sudden, this is sudden as well, sudden love, suddenly, sudden love. That's love at first sight. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen with this other person. Somebody is coming in very, very, very fast to pick this person up. So whoever it is that you are asking about, which is interesting, maybe it's you, I don't know. This is taking action, definitely. This is a wish being granted. Somebody's wish is about to be granted. This is a dream come true. But, this is very confusing because this is a loss. This is reconnecting. You may be reconnecting, Virgo, with somebody. You're going to be reconnecting with somebody. Somebody that sees an opportunity to have it all with you. That's what we got here. This person is, is not happy. They want to be with you. They have feelings for you. They are attracted to you. Something may have ended in the past. I don't know. Something in the, I don't know. Something has ended, but it feels like they're coming back around. So this week, you can prepare, be prepared for somebody to come. I think this person is going to be rushing towards you. Somebody's going to be coming towards you. Somebody that is very sexually attracted to you. And they have feelings for you. This person is not happy over an ending. And they are going to have no fear. And they are about to show up. You got an admirer. And they're going to express your feelings. Their feelings. Somebody is going. This is, this is like a crush. This is somebody that is going to be expressing their feelings to you. This is somebody that really really uh, isn't going to take no for an answer this is somebody that is very clever and sharp he wants to be a he or she wants to be ahead of the rest and they're going to come in really really fast it's either a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius or a Virgo, Taurus Capricorn Good luck. They see your value. They see your your uh, groundedness. They love your groundedness. They love your strength. They love your at ease. You're so they're so just looking at this. You're so at ease. You know they love that about you. Good luck. <laughs> 